Madden 25 gamers in today's blitz of the day we're going to focus on some 335 once again we're going to be taking a look at the man pressure here uh, a couple of different things we can do to get man pressure uh, but in today's video we're going to show you my favorite version just because it looks like all of our zone looks so if you guys haven't checked out the zone looks from the 335 go ahead and check out a couple of the blitz of the days prior to this one uh, but for right now let's hop into this pressure so uh, the play we like to the play i like to use for this is a strong safety mic blitz and um it's just because it uses a lot of the concepts we like to use out of this formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to base a line. We're going to shift our linebackers to the right to create our standard look. And then what I like to do is I'll just take uh, Tom Bahali. And if you, as you guys remember, out of the base play, we'll just widen him out out of the free safety middle. So it'll look exactly the same. We're just going to re-blitz him and we're going to move him over here, right off the edge here. And then what I like to do is take uh, Johnson, and I'll put him in a buzz zone typically or just man him up on the running back. And here you're going to see the snap of the ball. We should get that left edge pressure, and there it is. Uh, it's pretty decent. Um, we'll take a look at this in this replay. We'll show you what happens. But the, the, the blitz angle of the center and the safety occupy the guard just long enough for the linebacker. So I would recommend having a, the faster the linebacker, the, the better the pressure will the more consistent the pressure will get in. Uh, I'm sure if we run it a couple times here, we'll eventually get stopped. So here we are. Set it up and go. And you see, I mean, it's pretty consistent. Typically, it won't get stopped. What they have to do to stop this play is they have to call a play-action play. And what will happen is sometimes even when the play-action play, it sometimes it comes in. But here we'll show you again. And um, what we like to do if they're doing uh, this concept is play action you see it, it doesn't allow the blitz angles to work properly so that's the biggest downfall to this um, there is a way that you can work around it uh, what you want to do is you want to base a line you want to spread your or shift your linebackers to the right move Holly over here blitz him straight down and then you're going to uh, shift your D line to the left and you're going to uh, grab your safety and put him in a zone you're going to leave Johnson blitzing Alright, and so now they call play action. And now you're going to see uh, the pressure is now going to come in clean off that right edge. So it's two different looks. That's the one downfall to it, in my opinion. Um, obviously, there's not a whole lot I can say about that. Um, it's just the way the game plays this year. It's something we're going to have to adjust to. Uh, but at the, at the same time, guys, just note that it's a it's a really good blitz to, to use it's a man look and i have a couple of other pressures i'm going to show you guys throughout the rest of the week uh that are going to be able to combine themselves with that look so that it, it doesn't we're not only bringing uh man pressure from that look so you can add that to your scheme uh as well but for starters guys i think that the base look is really effective just because of the speed at which it comes in so be sure to add this play to your playbook and come back uh, later on in the week as we break down more of this nickel 335 pressure looks and also in the scheme of the weeks to come because we will be having a full scheme out of nickel 335, uh, which I think will be very informative. It was actually something I was using for a long time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.